So right now we are cruising at the expressway. Uh, it is an exclusive video because uh, we are just cruising around. It hasn't been open officially, so we are going to show you just a small video. Yeah, there's a chicken here. The 27 km expressway that stretches from Lolongo through Uhuru Highway to the James Gishuru Road junction in Westlands has incurred about 89 billion Kenya shillings and it is the first major project in Kenya to be carried out through a PPP model uh, called the Public Private Partnership and earlier the Director uh, General of the Kenya National Highways Authorities had revealed that the construction works on the highway were 82% complete overall construction of the operation and monitoring center stood at 90 9.5% while 98.5% of elevated sections had been built. According to the Transport Cabinet Secretary, uh, the expressway is now 95 complete and uh, most of the machinery that was being used has been moved to construct the Langata Road viaducts. And uh, CS Mashari said that the contractor as part of the project uh, will be planting new trees and uh, flowers along the expressway in a bit to restore the flora. And uh, this exercise has already begun on Mombasa Road uh, where flowers including you know wall creepers have been planted using a modern agricultural process known as aquaponics vertical farming and i guess you've been seeing you know for the guys who have been driving along Mombasa road i guess you've been seeing these new developments the nairobi expressway will have a four lane and a six lane dual carriageway uh, within the existing median of Mombasa road uhuru highway and uh, waiyaki road. so right now we are at the expressway you know exclusive uh, video right now so we'll check it out as we show you around the expressway right now So we are just passing Capital Center, okay. uh, just across Mombasa Road, uh -huh. and this is one of the mega projects that Kenya has just achieved so far. So far. Oh my goodness! This is Nairobi, the yeah. new city, the capital city of Kenya. This is so amazing. The section between the eastern and southern bypass will be a six-lane dual carriageway, while the section from the eastern bypass and that from the southern bypass to James Gishur Road will be a four-lane dual carriageway. The elevated highway will begin near Ole Sereni Hotel and uh, run through the CBD along the Uhuru Highway up to the James Gishuru Road Junction, Haile Selassie Road, Inyata Avenue, and uh, University Way will be below the elevated road. Upon completion, the road is expected to significantly reduce the time spent on Mombasa Road at rush hour from approximately uh, 2 hours to between 10 to 15 minutes. The project is scheduled for completion by December 2022. And uh, the project, let me just give you a little bit of timeline uh, from where this project started. You know, the project broke ground in October 2019 with the China Road and a Bridge Corporation, the CRBC, as the contractor. CRBC is responsible for the design, financing, and uh, the construction of the road under a public private partnership framework. The company will also operate the road for about 27 years so as to recoup its investment through the collection of road tolls. But previous reports indicated that motorists will be charged between 100 to 300 Kenya shillings depending on the distance covered and the type of a car. Uh, but further reports also showed that motorists would be expected to fork between 12,000 Kenya shillings a month just to use the road but Kenha has dispelled all those reports and the project is inching closer to completion with most of the infrastructure already installed. Uh, the Nairobi Expressway will also have 11 interchanges and 27 toll stations are uh, dotted along uh, different sections of the elevated highway. We are now at Eastern Bypass and this is one of the Kenya's major projects that we have in East and Central Limpopo. Yes. In fact, this, uh, we are told that this project has cost Kenya a lot of billions and uh, I think it's just going to be one of the major key development that the Uhuru government is going to bring to the state and to the nation. And we are very, uh, we are very happy. 
happy as Kenyans we are receptive of uh, this kind of a project. It's a multi-billion project actually. And we're just crossing, we're going all the way to Mulolongo just to see. The tickets for the road will be obtained at the toll stations. Uh, motorists will then be expected to keep the same ticket uh, which will be scanned uh, before exiting the road and uh, each toll station will also have a toll attendant who will guide the motorist on the way forward once it is open for the public. Though the project is not open for the public use yet, uh, the state has warned motorists against using the road before it is officially open. They further advised that the Nairobi Expressway is not open for use by the public. Construction is still ongoing and uh, they said for the safety of the motorists, they strongly advise uh, motorists not to drive along any accessible parts of the project. And uh, anyone found driving within or accessing the Nairobi Expressway route before the official launch will be trespassing and will therefore be reported to the authorities. And uh, according to the Transport Cabinet Secretary, uh, James Mashari, uh, once the road is complete, motorists are expected to pay between 100 Kenya shillings to 1,550 Kenya shillings in toll charges uh, depending on the size of the vehicle and the distance covered. The charges will be in dollar based to cushion the Chinese operator from the exchange rate losses and uh, those who opt to use it uh, will need to purchase a special toll payment card. And uh, when you take a drive through along the expressway, uh, you will notice some of the roofing design especially at the entrance of uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport has a Chinese roofing design called uh, the heap and gable roof which in Chinese is called the uh, Xieshan. It is kind of uh, roofing called uh, the East Asian heap and gable roof uh, which consists of a heap roof that slopes down on all four sides and uh, integrates a gable uh, on two opposing sides. It is usually constructed with two large you know sloping roof sections in the front and back. So join me on this exclusive drive through across the Nairobi Expressway. Uh, we're just showing you a small video and uh, that's it.